And we're using free principles, and that's the first time we're introducing that. We call it the free C's of the best security. The free C's are comprehensive, consolidated, and collaborative. And let's see what that, what that means, and it can mean even more things and as, we, as we go through that. Comprehensive means that we need to prevent across all the attack vectors. If we, leave, if we close our door but leave the window open, the attack will come from the window. And again, think about it. If we leave our IoT devices, we invest a lot in endpoint security, but the IoT devices are unprotected, the attackers will find their way to the IoT devices, and from there they'll go on. Um, we need to prevent everything from code to cloud and everything in the middle. So we need a comprehensive architecture. We need it to be consolidated so we don't spend our time just buying more and more products and uh, upgrading, upgrading them. And what I hear from many of our customers, we're simply busy renewing the contracts. Uh, so we can manage it together and we can spend our time on actually elevating the level of security rather than managing uh, 12 or 15 or 55 different products and different consoles. And last and not least, and that's where I'm going to spend most of my time in what I have in the reminder of this presentation, what we call collaborative, that we actually all work together, that we get the best security engine, for example, that can identify a ransomware, but then it will stop the ransomware not just on the endpoint, but everywhere, whether the ransomware comes through an internet download or comes or arrive to an endpoint, which is late, but we can still stop it, or whether we get it through email or any other of these attack vectors. We want to take the best security technologies and apply them to all the different attack vectors. And once we do that, we want to use the information that we gather in real time to actually block the next attack. So if I've noticed a malicious file that arrives on my email, and yes, we are one of the only major security vendors to actually have email across the cloud and on site and have the best technology that can actually block attack on emails. And unfortunately, most of our competitors don't have that. But if we see that email, we don't just block it on email. We block it later when you're trying to download that file because it arrives to your Gmail or, because, or when the file appears on my, by the way, an amazing vector for attack, this device that less than 1% of enterprises protect. I can get the same file on WhatsApp, uh, that we actually use that information to protect ourselves everywhere within seconds.